That didn't work. We almost got it. Oh, I got half of it. Oh, this is a giant nightmare. So this last week, we took our little family to Hawaii. If you've been to Hawaii, you know that there are ABC stores everywhere. Now, I love the ABC stores. The only problem is things are rather expensive there. And then I went down the baby aisle just to check out the formula, $40 for a tiny can of formula. It was nuts. So I thought it'd be a good time for another $5 dinner video. Now just realize I live in a very small town in Northern Utah and so my prices might be very different, but hopefully these prices are somewhat the same as yours. All right, the first recipe I'm making is our easy lasagna. Now I know what you're thinking. There's no way I can make lasagna for $5. And you're right, it does cost a little bit more money. The thing is, it can feed you for two meals, possibly even three meals. So it's a total of about $10 and we're gonna split it into two meals, making it about $5 a meal. And first gonna start with oven ready noodles. Now these were $1.68. Next I have spaghetti sauce. This is about 24 ounces. If you can find a bigger one, that's great. But I was trying to stay under $2, so this is $1.95. Next up is our cottage cheese and ricotta cheese. The problem is, is that they didn't have ricotta at my store. Either that or they weren't sure what it was. So they only gave me one cottage cheese. I actually have another one in my fridge, so I'm gonna use two cottage cheeses. But if you have ricotta, I suggest that. The cottage cheese was $1.98, the ricotta was $2.16. Next I have about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. It's a little cheaper, if it comes in the block you can just shred it yourself. Now these six eggs came to $1.32, but I only need two of them, so this is gonna be about 44 cents. Okay, so into this bowl, we're going to add our cottage cheese. If you have your pint of ricotta, you can add that now, but I need to add more cottage cheese since it didn't come in the grocery order. Then you're gonna add your two eggs. And because the original recipe calls for Italian sausage, we don't have a ton of seasoning, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning into my cottage cheese. And then mix that all up. Okay, so you're gonna grab a nine by 13 pan, and you're gonna put a little bit of the spaghetti sauce on the bottom. Then just spread that all around. Now I splurged a little more and got the oven ready lasagna because I hate boiling my lasagna. I like it better if I can just put it in there and not have to worry about it and it will, knowing that it will cook all the way. Next we're gonna add a half of the cottage cheese. That looks about half. The good thing about lasagna, measurements are okay if you mess up a little bit. You might have a thicker layer, but really, no one will know. Next I'm gonna add about three-fourths cup of the cheese, because we like lasagna cheesy, right? Then we're gonna do about half the can of spaghetti sauce. Now, usually you would have meat mixed in here, but to keep it under $5, I could not find a way to get meat in here. So we're just doing sauce today. Then you're just going to repeat the layers. Now my mom would usually top this with another layer of noodles. I just don't have a ton of noodles, so I'm actually just going to finish and just top it off with about a half cup whatever is left of my cheese. And we'll just cook it like this. Now we're gonna cover this with foil and cook it for about 45 minutes. Then when it's done, you're going to take off the foil and cook it for another 15 minutes. Woohoo! all right, lasagna is done and it looks amazing. So usually for my side dishes with my lasagna, we like either like a garlic bread and like a Caesar salad with it. Super simple, super easy. I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. Okay, and two thumbs up out of this one. Mm, yeah, five out of five. Five out of five, awesome. Now the next recipe I'm making is my mom's caramel monkey bread. Whenever we wanted breakfast for dinner, this is one of my mom's classics. I kind of forgot about it until I started looking through Six Sisters recipes and I found this and I got so excited. I don't know if my kids have ever tried this, but it was a staple growing up. So we're gonna start with the butter. Now the butter was 3.98, but we're gonna divide it by four because there's four sticks and we only need six tablespoons. So that came to 99 cents. Next is our cook and serve butterscotch jello. This one was $1.24. Then if you have brown sugar, you're good. If you don't, the brown sugar was at about $1.70. We're gonna divide that by six. There's about six cups in here. So brown sugar comes to about 30 cents. And the last thing is these frozen dinner rolls. Now there's different kinds you can get, but this one was $4.84. There's 36 in the package and we only need 18. So we're gonna cut this in half. So the total for this one is going to be $2.42.
The original recipe calls for walnuts, but that took me way over my budget. So we're gonna skip the walnuts and just make the butterscotch, which I'm sure my kids will like even more. So my total for this one was $4.95. All right, so I'm gonna take 16 of these rolls and put it on a glass plate. Now you want these to thaw so they're not frozen. My secret is to throw them in the microwave for about two minutes. It will get them to the perfect temperature. Now while they're cooking, I'm going to grease a bundt pan. If you don't have one of those, you can also use a bread pan. Now you're gonna use some kitchen shears and you're going to cut these into fourths and then put them in the bottom of your pan. You're gonna do this to eight of the rolls. Now once you have eight in there, you're gonna take your butterscotch pudding and sprinkle half of it over top of your somewhat thawed rolls. And again, we're just gonna eyeball about half, but just kind of make it even across all of them. So I'm gonna set this aside just for a second. You're gonna grab a bowl, you're gonna add six tablespoons of butter, and you're gonna microwave that until completely melted. Then to your melted butter, you're gonna add about three-fourths cup of brown sugar. Mix that all together. Then you're gonna take half of this and pour it on top of your pudding and your frozen rolls. Now you're just gonna repeat the process. Okay, now here's the tricky part. These have to rise until they're about the level of this. So you can do it overnight, so about eight hours, or you can do it in the morning, and then they will rise all day. Then you cook them when you get home, and it will be quick, quick dinner. All right, I was running out of time. I should have let this rise a little bit longer, but you know, you do you. So it rose for about three hours, and then I had to cook it. So once it's all cooked, we're gonna separate the edges so it will flip and pop out a little bit easier. All right, ready? One, two, three, flip. <gasps> that didn't work. I almost got it. Oh, I got half of it. Oh, this is a giant nightmare. Man, so much caramel in there. Let's learn from my mistakes. Spray it with cooking spray. A whole lot more than I did. Well, that is supposed to look beautiful. Let's just pretend. That side's kind of pretty. Here we go, guys. There we go. Next time, I'll use a little bit more spray. It stuck a little bit, but it still tastes delicious. Now to serve with this, I'd usually serve it with like some vegetable omelets and then have fruit on the side, but whatever you choose, it's gonna be good. Okay, monkey bread. It was really, really good. I like the caramel in it, but it, was, it, it wasn't that. I'll give it a three out of five. <clears throat> and the last recipe I'm sharing with you is our crunchy black bean tacos. This recipe is not only really fast, but it's really easy. So you're gonna start with black beans. These are only 78 cents. Next we have white corn tortillas. I like the white corn, but if you like yellow corn tortillas, that's great too. These came to $1.98. And last but not least is our Fiesta blend or whatever you can find. I was looking for shredded Mexican cheese, but Fiesta blend is close enough. And this came to $2.22. Now the total for this recipe is about $4.98. It will serve six, so that makes it about 83 cents a serving. You're going to first rinse and drain the black beans. Then I'm gonna add my black beans into a bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. So we have one teaspoon of paprika and one teaspoon of cumin. And just mix that all together. Okay, my skillet is hot. I kind of like to work fast as I do skillets because then it just doesn't take as much time. I'm actually gonna make like little quesadillas. So we're gonna spread these babies out. I always like to have a little bit of cheese on the bottom. They'll all stick together. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of black beans. Now after the beans, we're gonna add a lot more cheese. I'm gonna add your tortillas right on top. Now you can make these small and fold them over, but I think it's easier to make them like quesadillas. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put these babies over. It wasn't quite as brown as I wanted, so I'm actually gonna leave them on here a little bit longer. Once they're done, pretty crispy on both sides. Go ahead and pull them off. Now sometimes side dishes can be hard. So one of my favorite side dishes with this is to just have a bin of vegetables and a bin of fruit that I just keep in the refrigerator and I use it for three or four meals throughout the week. You just pull out your sides and it makes life a whole lot easier when it comes to side dishes. That's really good. I'll give it a five out of five. Are you eating your puppy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, if you want more $5 videos, I have plenty right up here for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.